four G over sixteen. Minus three over eight. Minus G over sixteen equals what? Three over sixteen. All right. So what you want to do is you want to recognize what the lowest common denominator is with all of these. Even though you're not going near this other side yet, you still want to be aware. And the lowest common denominator is 16. Okay, so what might be easier for you guys is to literally take those 16s out and put it for each one. No, I'm focused. So you have 16 times 4g over 16. Close it. Minus 16 times 3 eighths minus 16 times g over 16 equals, again, 16 times 3 over 16. Okay, so then you take each part up here. Okay, even though you're quiet, if you're not focused, there's no point in me teaching nobody. And then we're going to cross simplify. So these cross out to become 1. So obviously only 4G is left. 1 times 4G is just 4G. 16 and 8 are, are crossed from each other. I should say across, not across. They're crossed from each other. So 16 divided by 8 is 2. 8 divided by 8 is 1. So it becomes 2 times 3. So the minus carries minus 6. 16 and 16 come out, and it becomes minus G equals, and the 16s are gone, you have 3 left. And then it becomes a little bit easier for us. Again, the, the goal is combine like terms on each side. So it becomes 4G minus G. 4G minus 1G equals 3G. Cross it out. Minus 6 equals 3. Okay, what can I still combine here? What can I still combine? Nice, right? What can I still combine? Inverse operation with which number, though? Tell me why, not you, nice, right? Someone else. Chris, which one do I want to combine? negative 6, positive 3. And he's right. Should, can we do minus 3 on both sides, Chris, or plus 6? What do you want to do? If we did minus 3 on both sides, we'd be left with nothing over here and a ton of stuff over here. What we want to do is be aware of what we want it to look like. So we, what we want is, we want the coefficient and a variable on one side, so a term with a variable. And then we want the numbers on the other, so we can get that variable by itself. So what you want to actually do, Chris, is the inverse operation of the negative 6. What do we do actually with that? Or how do we do that? Here, gone. Plus, okay, three, two, 
one. Okay, bring down the three J. Which is gone. Equals three plus six, which is nine. And what do we do to both sides? Alex. We have multiplication here, so we do division on both sides. Good out. You got G equals three. Okay, how could I check my answer with the original? You didn't believe yourself. How could I check my answer, Leah? Plug it in. Plug it in. And both sides should be what? Equal. Same, right? Okay. Now, different guys up.